Democracy is widespread in nature, but so are dominance hierarchies. Dominant group members, such as alpha males, can monopolize important resources for survival and reproduction. But how does the rest of the group respond when they lose access to food, due to dominance? Scientists at the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior in Constance have studied the links between dominance and group decision-making in wild vulture and guinea fowl. They report in Science Advances that democratic decision-making plays an essential role in mitigating the power of alphas by deciding where to move next if those alphas are monopolizing resources. Early morning in the Kenyan savanna, a group of birds arrives at a rich food resource. Initially, every group member gets access to the food. As the food gets depleted, dominant individuals start aggressing subordinates and thus they exclude them from the food. More and more excluded subordinates aggregate in the periphery of the rich food resource and they miss out on food, while dominants still forage. When a critical number of birds has been excluded, then one of them initiates movement away from the monopolized resource. All excluded subordinates follow the initiators and dominants are left alone. Being alone as a ground yielding bird makes one very vulnerable to predators. Thus, the dominants abandon the food resource while it's still productive and run to catch up with their group. Democratic decision-making allows subordinate vulture and guinea fowl to regain control over collective group actions when dominants have a monopoly over resources. These findings highlight how a collective reaction to rising social inequality maintains the balance of power in a democratic society, where functioning as a group is critical to survival.